Aye, 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 that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be seeing again. Welcome back guys and girls to Dad's Toy Garage. We are working on my wife's FJ Cruiser. It's a 2007 model. And I had this company, Oxido, reach out to me and ask if I would test some headlights for them. And so that's what we're gonna do on this thing. But the cool part is actually, uh, my wife and I were uh, getting quite frustrated already that every new vehicle coming out almost makes our headlights on our vehicle Pretty much any vehicle we have that does not have LED headlights makes those headlights pretty much irrelevant because you know I'm blinded by the lights coming down the road and I can't see so I'm really hoping that these lights are going to brighten up my nighttime vision and make it safer for her to go to work so if that's a win thank you very much Oxido let's get into this install let's get her done and we'll probably be able to get my wife in here to give us her thoughts on it once she's driven it as well. So we'll do the install, we'll talk a bit about these, and we'll get her done. So let's get right into this. All right, these are stock headlights. And we got our dims. We got our brights. All right, so these are stock headlights. We're in my back lane here. Um, as you can see they're quite dim we got the brights on they do pretty decent but uh, let's see we'll take this thing to the shop and let's see if we can uh, get it to be a little brighter here all right so inside the box there's the cover and uh, the ones that we're running on the FJ Cruiser are the 9003H4 slash HB2. And i uh, got some gloves here and an install manual. And then we also got the bulbs themselves and they are made out of aluminum. They've got a cooling fan in there from what I understand and some LEDs. So let's see if these are direct plug and play into what we got. But this is what they look like. There's some good weight to them. And I've read 50,000 operating hours and running at 6,000K, I believe it was. Let's have a look in here. So you get your install for your different types of vehicles and styles. But these are your specs here. Pause the screen if you really want to get a good look on it but it's out of aviation aluminum and the temperature of the lighting is 6,000 K and it's running at 12 volt cars only and it's an LED and so it's waterproof and you get 50,000 hours, which is awesome because you'll probably never have to change a headlight for the life of the vehicle. So let's go see what we got in the FJ Cruiser here and I want to try these out. If it works, we'll probably be putting these on to our other vehicles too. I'm curious if there's a solution for this car because I know these are going to suck and the headlights on the 91 Miata are also going to, well, I know those are even worse than this one. So let's pop the hood and let's have a look. And I even just washed it for you guys. So. except not under here. We are actually diagnosing an air conditioning leak. So that's that. So we got our bulbs in, that'll be in here. So we just have a rubber boot and a plug that's attached and it comes out as one unit pretty much here. And it looks like the same kind of plug as the Oxidos are gonna have. So here's the factory one. And here is the new Oxido one. So I want to plug this into the vehicle and we'll test one beside the other just to see how much brighter it looks in the housing. Since I can't show you with my big hands in there, uh, the bulb will slide straight in 
And if you look here and here, that's where these little notches slide into. So I will do my best. And the original one came out with a tab to the top like this. So I'm going to put it in that way, the same way. And it actually kind of fits nice in there. I've done one test fit. There we go. And then, so now we take this. Sorry, you can't see me locking it, but we'll get the after and, and before in there. So there you go. You can see how the locking tabs there and there hold the cathedral bulb in place. So now we're going to just basically plug it all back in. You can see the three prongs in there. Get them lined up. And this fits snug in this ring here. Just tighten it down all around. So let's do a little headlight test. Definitely brighter than that one. So I'll get the other one installed and we'll go back outside for a little rip uh, down the lane and we'll see what we think. So actually we have install instructions right here for our H4 style FJ cruiser bulbs. And uh, basically it shows the wire and you gotta remove the dust cover like we did and then disconnect the three prong, prong plug. And then you line up the tab of the LED bulb with the groove sections and the light housing. And then you put the buckle back in place, that little wire that I was talking about. And then you connect the plug and power test. There we go. If you listen carefully, you can actually hear the cooling fan in these bulbs keeping the LEDs cool. So if you want to know what people are going to see when they're coming at you, much brighter. Um, this is on regular headlights. We'll go to put the brights on. I'm going to hit the switch here. Yep, definitely brighter. We're going to go test this out. All right, so that was a really awesome install because it fit like factory. It took me literally, if I wasn't filming, I would have been done in like three minutes. Pop the hood, pull the two old bulbs out, put the two new ones in. Uh, that simple and everything's accessible. You don't have to pull like, oh my God, Brown, you gotta pull a headlight fixture out to get to any bulbs. Toyota made this easy to service and so did Oxido. So let's go for a drive in the back lane. Maybe we'll head to the highway, I think. We're gonna notice a big difference here, guys. And if so, I'm gonna be super happy. So let's get out there, let's try it out. We're gonna do lights off here. Actually, these are the daytime running lights now as well, because lights are off. But that's how dark we are here. So here we go, on. That's daytime running lights. Then we're gonna switch the lights on. You can see the instrument cluster, switch the lights on, and it stays the same. And now we'll go to high beams. There you are. Ay, 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 that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be seeing again. So amazing, I think we're gonna have people flashing us uh, their brights to let me know that my brights are on, on regular lighting. Let's go try this, go for a drive. Seatbelt on. All right, so these are stock headlights. We're in my back lane. Wow, okay. I did not expect that much of an improvement. Okay, everything I have is probably gonna get some of these bulbs, guys. All right, guys, here is my regular lights, or the dims. I'm a little afraid to put the brights on. This we know some people flashing us, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna turn around here and we're gonna get uh, the brights on when we're not facing too much traffic. Okay, here's the dims. Here's the brights. I want you guys also to take note Right across the top of the light beam, it is flat. And what I noticed is it's 
gets the light where it needs to be but uh, not in other drivers eyes I did not have a single person flash their brights at me saying hey like your lights are too bright so these things are engineered to work right so awesome guys we'll go get my wife's opinion and then we'll wrap this video up gotta let her drive it I think she'll really appreciate this well, I think my wife's just about to get here. Let's see how she likes those headlights. It's the end of a evening shift for her. So it's right around midnight, so it's good and dark. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Tired. Yeah, evening shift, right? Yep. Nobody well, died today, so that's good. <laughs> perfect. And she's a nurse, so she deals with that stuff. But uh, what do you think of the new lights from Oxido? Amazing. And what, what do you, do you feel safer? I can see so much farther. I think the dims are better than the old brights. That's kind of what I was feeling too. Like, I can actually read signs. Yeah. <laughs> we had talked about that quite often, actually, that headlights on our old vehicles were not enough with all the new bright LED lights on new cars, hey? No. Yeah. But now I can actually see. So what do you yeah. think? Time for some uh, YouTube shows and a relax? Oh, it's so beer. Pie. Some yeah. Pie. Pumpkin pie. It's fall. Yeah. All right. Love you. Love you, too. So, guys, girls. I parked the vehicle back in my wife's garage, um, which is up by the house, and I'm very impressed with them. I did not expect them to do that well and not get flashed by other vehicles. I would say you guys should totally check those out because if you're feeling that your vehicle's not bright enough at night, like I was, I was actually feeling safety hazard already because everything else is so much brighter with all the new cars having much better lighting than our older vehicles check these guys out and to help you guys out oxido is going to give you a 15 percent off on your purchase just follow the link below in the description of this video and it will take you to their website and you can get 15 percent off plus uh, it helps the channel out if you guys purchase some of those lights so um until next time, guys, get in your shop, get your stuff done, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.